In this lesson, we're going to look at how to simplify algebraic expressions with exponents. So you know algebraic expressions means that we are uh, going to have variables in our terms, and so now our variables will have exponents on them. Basically, in this lesson, all that's going on is we are combining like terms. But now that we have exponents, you need to know that like terms not only have the same variables, but they also have the same powers of the same variables. Let's look at a couple of examples. Let's simplify 8x to the third plus 2x to the third. Now both of these are, these are like terms because x to the third here matches x to the third here. So just like we would combine any other two like terms, we can combine these. 8 plus 2 is 10. So 8 of these plus 2 of these makes 10 of these, 10x to the third. But if we have to add 8x to the third plus 2x squared, we cannot combine these because we have 8x to the third, but 2x squared. It's, they're just not like terms because this is not the same type of term as this. The exponents have to match. So that can't be simplified because these are not like terms. It's a lot like when you add fractions. The denominators have to be the same. And when you add terms, the uh, exponents on the variables have to be the same. So now let's simplify. We'll get us a few examples here. Okay. Let's look at 9x to the third plus 5x squared plus 7x to the third. So I have x to the third in the first term and in the last term. So these two can be combined and give us a total of 16x to the third plus 5x squared. Now, the order that you write the terms in is not important, but I do want to point out that it's kind of customary for us to have the biggest exponent first and then the next. And we keep the exponents in order and that just makes it easy for everybody to kind of have the same terms in the same order. It's not imperative, it's not required, but it is just kind of the way things are usually done. So we usually write the terms with the exponents in order from largest to smallest. And that's probably how you'll usually see answers written in textbooks or um, on the computer, you'll see it done that way. Okay, part B. Negative 6y to the third plus 5y squared plus 2y to the third plus 4y squared. So again, we have y to the third and y to the second. So we will combine the y to the third terms. We'll have negative 6 and positive 2. Together they make negative 4. So negative 6 plus 2 makes negative 4 and those are y to the third and then we'll have positive 5 and positive 4 makes 9 so that's 9y squared. And on the third one we've got 2x to the fifth minus 7x to the third. The fifth power and the third power are different powers and cannot be combined. So that cannot be simplified. And that's all that we have to master in this lesson.